seconds welcome in today's video today i'm gonna show you like my back workouts i have like two pull sessions one is like more power and hypertrophy focused and this one is pure hypertrophy so today i'm gonna show you like how we can build like a big back so let's start with the demo workout For the first exercise, we're gonna do like a low row. The goal right now is to do like one heavy top set around eight to 10 reps. And then I'm gonna strip off some weights and do like two uh, more hypertrophy vo volume style around 16 repetitions. So first of all, we're gonna build up to one heavy top set and now we're gonna do like two lighter back up sets. <laughs> For our top set, we're gonna go a little bit heavier and then we're gonna go to the back offs. Okay, that's nine. I think next week we're gonna try 80, but for now, this is good. I'm gonna strip down like 20 kgs and now we're gonna do like two sets around the 16 repetitions and a lot of guys think like a row row that's for your lats but actually it's more for your traps and your upper back if you really want to focus your lats it's very important that you do like a pull movement from above <laughs> That was perfect weight. Now we're gonna do like one more set and then we're gonna go to like a pull down movement. And I like to rotate between them. So I do one for thickness, and then one for width. And then I repeat that again. And total, in total for my back workout, I like to do like four exercises and maybe like a pullover to finish or to start my back workout. But mainly my workout exists out of like uh, four movements, two for width and two for thickness. And that was completely failure. I didn't get like my 16 repetitions, but it's okay. It was my last set. If that would happen like on my first volume set, I would say I would drop the weight, but on the last set, it's okay. Just make sure to go close to failure. For our second exercise, we're gonna do a unilateral uh, lat pull down machine. Uh, I like to go unilateral so you really can squeeze like on your lats. Okay, for the first set, we went kind of light, but gonna increase the weight. And the goal with this exercise is I'm gonna try like around the 10 repetitions because the next pull down movement that we're gonna do, I can full stack and do like 16 repetitions. So I'm gonna pre-exhaust myself and do like on this machine, like heavier weights and lower reps. If your set doesn't look like this, you just ain't training hard enough. At least like 20 to 30% of your sets should look like this. Otherwise you're just wasting your time in the gym. So train close to failure. <laughs> Next exercise, we're gonna do like another row. And for this one, we're gonna try also like 10 to 12 repetitions. But instead of going like really heavy, we're gonna try to slow down the movement, really control the weight and go for like a full range of motion, really get the stretch and then back. And that's where you can really target on your back. So I like to do like a heavy pulling movement. And then like the second pulling movement, I try to go a little bit slower and really target the muscles. <laughs> Another 
concentric park, parts of the movement, you can go quick, but make sure on the eccentric part, when you go back down, and then go slow. And then when you pull again, go quick, and slowly go back, because otherwise you're gonna lose like a lot of energy by just pulling the weight slow. And also like eccentric, your waist stronger, and that way you can target like the best out of both ways. Like concentric, you can do like 100%, and eccentric, you can do like 120. So it's good to go quick and then slowly make the exercise look harder by going back and then just really focus on the squeeze. For our last back exercise, we're gonna do this one, and I really like this one because if you wanna target like your lats, it's very important that you can like squeeze your elbow behind your body, and this machine allows it. So if you do like one arm pull down, you do like this, but you can target your lat a little bit more by squeezing to the sides, and that's where you will really feel your lats burn. So this machine gives gives me or allows me to go like behind my body and really squeeze my damn lats. For this one, we're doing like three sets, around 16 to 20 repetitions. And we're gonna finish like with one superset for rear delts, and then I'm gonna do like two bicep exercises. In the past, I did like three bicep exercises, but now my biceps are like a strong point, so I'm lowering the volume and I only do like two exercises like every pull session. For our rear delts superset, we're gonna do like this machine. Here we're gonna go like heavy because we pull with our, pushing with our elbows the weights, and then we're gonna burn out like on the reverse cable fly. Just gonna do like five supersets. We ain't gonna do like another exercise. Normally do like two rear delts exercises, but today we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna do like the superset for like five rounds. So between every round, I take like one minute rest. And that way, yeah, I just have like a whole different feeling. Like I go heavy and then with the other one, I go like light, really focused. And I feel like that pumps up my rear delts way more than just doing like two regular exercises. <laughs> So that was everything for rear delts. Now we're just gonna finish up with some biceps. For biceps, we're gonna start like with high reps. So we're really warming up the biceps. So really focus on the contraction. And then later on the workout, we're gonna do like more heavier weights. So the first exercise is like lightweight, a lot of reps, and then we're gonna finish off with like another exercise where we go focus really on heavy weights. started with going to the gym that was like a machine that was like in my first fitness and like I was like struggling with 25 with my both arms and now I'm about to do like 50 with one arm so like it's crazy how much you can change like over the years on your fitness journey so yeah where did you start it and why did you start going to the damn gym finish up this session we're gonna do like one set extra heavy and as last tip I would say if, if you do like a bicep curl of any movement make sure your elbows or your joints are lined up like with the machine otherwise your uh, elbow or 
no, no matter what, but it will hurt. So make sure to line up your, your joints and then start with the movement. Otherwise, you're just gonna tweak some things and you don't want that. So that was for the session. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another one. Peace out.